as you guys saw at the end of the flooring part two video i had decided what i was going to do for trim so i wanted to cut the pieces that we're going to cover here in the doorway glue the pvc small corn flooring onto it then cut the l bracket aluminum l bracket for what would actually be the trim now again it was the 120 inch l bracket aluminum from Home Depot so I would imagine you could find that at any Home Depot now that I've used it I think it's a little too thin I think I would have liked to have found something a little bit thicker but then also potentially not use aluminum because of how malleable and how soft it is I think it's gonna mar up quickly over the time that it's been used from feet and from bikes going in and out of the back so that's something to think about when you're trying to pick what material you're going to use for your trim maybe find some steel instead of using aluminum so take that for what it's worth but let's go ahead and install the doorway trim and cover pieces right now and make this thing look a little bit better you see me here trying to attach one of the smaller trim pieces that i made from a piece of a nice piece of wood that i had lying around glued the small coin flooring to it like i did when i did the main floor for the moto van these awesome little self-tapping screws that i got from home depot and a little bit of focus issue look at that sometimes you got to remember to put it in manual so it holds focus just getting this guy attached now that I've got that wood piece attached, I want to attach the aluminum trim. I did use a punch to get these points started that I was going to use the drill bit on. But once I've got those guys going, then we're going to pull out the self-tapping screws from Home Depot and get this piece of aluminum attached. As you watch me take the screws, put them in the holes that I've just drilled into the aluminum and through the floor that you can see there, I just want to let you guys know that you're going to see some mistakes coming up. And I don't want to shy away from those. I want you guys to realize some of the mistakes that I made while trying to attach this so that you guys can not make those mistakes in the future. And then as well, maybe you guys could leave me some ideas in the comments moving forward on how to fix some of that kind of stuff either after the fact or for other potential builders. That didn't work out very well. Really? What you saw there was the issue that comes up with not verifying every single point that you're going to make contact with the van. I just assumed that what I was putting this piece of trim up on was flat and it was not. And unfortunately right where I had drilled to put the self-tapping screw was an angle. And of course, what's gonna happen there, it's not gonna make a very good contact. So now I have to just say, oh man, I screwed up. I need to move these holes up about an inch. And that's what I had to do. You're gonna see a little bit of an issue as well come up when I try to attach the aluminum trim to this piece of wood trim here in a second. But again, just be very careful and measure out every single hole that you're going to make. So it looks like just drilling a hole, getting ready to put a top bolt into this trim piece. Well, unfortunately, what I didn't notice is that because the bottom trim piece was o the way that the bottom trim piece was overlapping the top trim piece, that I actually just drilled right into the edge, which you can see right there. So this was obviously not going to be a good way to mount the top. And now you can just see my fingers think through how I'm going to mount this guy. They are really moving, really thinking. Let's keep thinking. After much deliberation that you saw with my fingers thinking and showcasing how much I was trying to think through this problem, I decided that I was just going to mount the L bracket to the lower piece of the trim. Though this wasn't going to secure it as much to the floor of the van, knowing that the trim pieces were really that, they were just there for aesthetics, that this was not going to be that big of an issue. I find it interesting that I was as diligent as I was using the Sharpie and getting a smaller drill bit to make sure that the screw I was using mounted well to the trim piece in the long run after the, the small mistakes that I seem to keep making with mounting this, that, the other, and the way that I kind of just had to make it work, I look back and go, man, I was really caring about this one mounting spot, but moving forward, it did not go as planned. What you see here is me moving forward with what I thought was going to be the quick and easy way to finish off the trim piece. So drill a hole here that we're going to mount the angle bracket to the piece of 
bottom wood trim piece and would use some screws there and call it good. Well, the front piece that you saw me drill first worked great. The middle piece, of course, was right where my two pieces of wood did not meet, if you would remember how I did glue those together. So what does that mean is that I had to go back to the drawing board a little bit. What I would do differently moving forward is when I would cut my templates, I would know moving forward how deep the trim piece that I want to make is and I would make sure that my flooring covers up that trim piece not the other way around which is what I did is that my trim piece goes up and meets the edge of the floor the, the wood flooring that I have and so the overhang there would be a little bit different the overhang would be from the flooring not from the trim piece on the side is how I would move forward in that regard now a little bit of thinking a little bit of moving forward and I did get all of this mounted and it's secure enough it's doing exactly what it needs to do it's aesthetic it makes it look like everything is just finished extremely clean so thankful for that but again you get to see my fingers think through the process one last time and there we have it. It has been about two months since I've done this, and it's worked great since then. Sorry, the kids going back to school has been much more interesting than I thought it would be. Please leave comments, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff, and follow us along for the rest of the Motovan videos as I start on a different electrical system.